I was a Kings guy. Gretzky retired, so I became a New Jersey Devils fan. And they won a cup, I think, against Dallas or something. Or was it Dallas or no? I don't know. They won a cup at some point. That's all I remember. Hold on, but Didn't they get wait, three wait. of them? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They won three. <laughs> Jay Pandolfo, Johnny Mad Dog, if you're watching this, just know that he was a fan of you guys <laughs> in Dallas. Marty, just know that I'll text you after. We'll straighten that out. <laughs> Um, favorite Stanley Cup moment, either personally or just as a young kid growing up playing street hockey, who was your school? Were you Flyers for you? Uh, my team was the Rangers, actually. Whoa, whoa really? Yeah, so I remember um, in 94 watching that with, uh, with, my, with my dad, and then I think there was a game six, uh, Pavel Burry had like a penalty shot on Mike Ricky. Richter, and yep. he made a huge save, and then they go back for game seven, and. Uh, and win that for the first one in like 50 something years. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. I remember that pretty vividly. Mine's probably personal. Yeah. Um, you know, winning in, in 07. And I, I remember scoring uh, the final goal, you know, a slap shot from, the, from right in the slot. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there was like three minutes left in the game. And you, you just knew it, it was over. And, uh, you know, I, we went to, the, went to the wall and O'Donnell grabbed me. And, you know, he, he, he was a, it was his last season and, yep. uh, you know, he went out on top and, he, and you know, we were pretty happy in, in, the, in the huddle and, you know, that's pretty, pretty special when uh, you, get to, you get to lift the cup and you see guys that, you know, play all these years and never get to do it and, and then finally get to do it and go out on top, it's pretty special. What went through your body when you scored that goal? Like, what were you acting? Did you blank? Did you blank out? <laughs> yeah, like, I just put my hands in the air and, yeah. and just skated to the wall and, uh, you know, I got mobbed after that, but uh, you know, it's it, it was a good moment and uh, something I'll never forget. Gio, growing up, you were a Leaf fan. Yeah, watching Doug Gilmore, yeah. Wendell Clark, when Gretzky, you know, he, he should have had a high sticking penalty, and uh, <laughs> says all and then, five million people in Metro went, Toronto right now went on so to score and then six, score a hat trick in Game Seven. It was sort of sort of tough to watch, but those are some good years when they they went to the conference finals and uh, I just remember being so disappointed because it would have been a Toronto Montreal final yeah, which would have right. been pretty cool um, but yeah they had some some pretty good teams I uh, I watched some games in the Maple Leaf Gardens and mm -hmm. the atmosphere was great so um, I'd say growing up in Toronto and cheering for them those were some some moments that stick out for sure mm -hmm. doubts you were a huge Kings fan yeah, it was just uh, solely because uh, Wayne Gretzky is my favorite player. I idolized him, you know, had a 99 jersey and whatnot growing up. So uh, when I found out I was potentially getting drafted to L.A., we knew it was either going to L.A. or the team after that. And, like, I so badly wanted to go to L.A. Like, my room, the GM and stuff came to visit me before the draft. And, like, my room was, was still at that time, like, L.A. King's pillowcase and L.A. King's sheets. <laughs> like, I didn't live at home anymore. But, or I guess I would have. Yeah, I would have. <laughs> You're so junior. I had, like, an L.A. King's phone. Yeah. Like, uh, anyway, so I just loved yeah, Gretzky. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I loved him, so. And then I got to play for them, so it was pretty cool. Who was a guy that you grew up idolizing? Like, who, Trev, who was the guy for you? Honestly, like, Doug Gilmore um, was, was the best. Uh, yeah. Wendell Clark. Mm -hmm. You know what? I, it was uh, Gary Lehman. Really? Yeah. Screaming yeah. Gary yeah. Lehman? Yeah. Yeah. I Sick loved hands, Gary Lehman. Like, I, I wore number Sick. 11 growing yeah, yeah. up. I yeah. loved Gary Lehman. Yep. Uh, Sick he, hands. He was, he was one of my favorite players yep. growing was up. Was he a no, he was a forward. He's he could a, score. Forward, yeah. he could, he could a, score, a winger, man. right? A winger. Yeah. yeah. Gary Lehman could shoot it. He was it. fun to watch. JVR? Um, yeah. Mess, since you're a Ranger guy? Actually, uh, Adam Graves. He Gravy. Was Great call, yeah. too. Yeah, I yeah. yeah. loved call. watching him play. And then uh, there was one of those uh, years where he did a, a signing in Jersey, probably like 15 minutes from my house. And that's kind of, it was kind of random because it's like an hour plus probably from the city. It took him to get there. Mm -hmm. But uh, I remember being there for hours, and he ended up getting something signed from him. So that was always a pretty uh, special thing. That's cool, man. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. I got a chance to meet him at the draft um, years later, so it was kind of cool to full circle, kinda, right? Yeah, comes full circle. Yep. And Boy, about today, that. man, it's tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, so that was cool. I'm probably Lemieux, Mario. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, yes. He's, he yes. was. Uh, he was probably my guy growing up. Mm -hmm. the, the long stick, the toe drag. The pole vault. Yeah, he can, he can uh, move the puck from one side to another pretty quickly, and uh, you know that's that's something I've I've kind of taken to to my game as growing growing up, and uh, definitely helped. Now, in retrospect, looking back, 
What's one thing that you tell your younger self when you first came in the league, based on what you now know, based on experience? Work on the mental side of the game. Confidence is so huge in our Big. game. Um, you know, we've all felt it and we're all, when you feel it, you're in the zone. Um, but it's the times when you're not feeling it. You still got to be able to perform and be a good player. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. It, you just said it, confidence in, in, in well, every time you step on the ice, uh, you know, when you have the puck, you, you, the game just slows down when you have confidence and try to build confidence in people, in yourself. It, it takes you a long way. For me, I would just be just, again, try to not get too high or too low because, again, there's lots of different swings. Uh, obviously over the course of a long season, so uh, there's going to be things that don't go your way, but um, trying to stick with it uh, through those times, I think uh, that helps you have uh, more success uh, in the long run and just really just sticking with that process. Knowing you trust that they're going to lead you to have some success and uh, really um, kind of live by those. When I was young, uh, you know, nothing really really bothered me, nothing phased me. Now things start to phase me the more older I get. I, <laughs> like. <laughs> But uh, That's awesome. when I was young, you know, I wasn't in the gym, wasn't really leading by example in those t types of ways. I was leading by example on the ice. But I think I learned as I got older, you know, how much those things affect the rest of the guys on your team and how it can make your team come together. So I've really improved in that area. So I kind of wish I had that, had a better grasp of that when I was younger. 100% confidence. I remember coming in and guys, it goes quick. And, you know, you're a young guy coming in, you're just like, a, you know, doesn't how quick could it go, you know? But, sure. You know, now it, it went quick. <laughs> 971 whatever games now, you're looking at 1,000 games uh, yeah, this like, year. Where, where did it go? You right, know? exactly. Well, yeah, confidence is so big. Like, yeah. and, and just enjoy it. It's, we have the greatest job in the world, you know? Yeah. Like, just enjoy it. I would double down on that. Uh, I would say just, just enjoying every day. Just enjoying every day in the league. The days fly by. I remember being young and being in the minors in the American League. And then when I was in the IHL, old IHL, because you had veteran guys that played in the NHL. We see, enjoy it, bud. We see, enjoy it. Young guys, have fun. And kind of, whatever, what are they saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But next thing you know, you're 23. Next thing you know, you're 25. Then you're 28. Then you're 30. Um, and it does fly by. It really does. And before you blink your eyes, it's, you're, in my case, 34, 14 years later, playing pro and then into career number two. So I think it really does fly by. And it's cool to hear that all you guys are really passionate and you guys are really obsessed with hockey. And I think if the cameras weren't here and the lights weren't here and you guys had your gear, you guys are putting your gear on and you guys are coming out here to play. A little early, still weak here. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's great. So then you can't, then you can't recruit me then. <laughs> then you can't recruit me for the summer games. Perfect. Uh, guys, thank you guys so much. James Van Riemsdyk, Corey Perry, Mark Giordano, Drew Doughty, Trevor Daly. Thanks to all of you that are tuning in and that are going to have an opportunity to watch this. I'm Kevin Weeks. We're signing off. It's a